Boomer Sooner. Boomer, Boomer Sooner. That's Rhonda. Now, I'm not talking about the football team. I'm talking about the women's softball team when they're 51st straight today. Tiari Jennings, who had struck out four times over five, comes up in the ninth inning, gets a two run double. They were down two nothing after one. They tied it and it went to extra innings and they won four two. And Tiara Jennings on her twenty first birthday led the Sooner, the women's the women's Sooner softball team into their fourth straight championship appearance. They're going for their third straight championship. It's Florida State, Tennessee. And if I'm correct, Florida State wins tonight, it they're in. But if they lose then Tennessee has to win twice because it's a double elim- elimination. And they will get Oklahoma, which is 51 in a row. 51 in a row. And Stanford, it was their first time in the College World Series in 19 years. They had a senior class. One of the girls who struck out in the ninth inning is going for molecular, animal, molecular, biology. I don't know. She's some, some major I couldn't even, couldn't even fathom in my life. But I saw that. And I want to give props. I'm sending my love to Carol. And Carol spoke to Izzy today. A lot of people going through stuff, folks. And what we think is problems isn't really problems. I was talking to Danny today. Danny had written a script. He played baseball in up in Tennessee, the mountains, Smoky Mountains of Tennessee. And he wrote a script. I read it. It's good. It's very good. And I'm really proud of him for, you know, writing a script. I told him, you know, I did one years ago, and uh, hopefully this will get me going again. But uh, I was thinking about him. I'm not talking about the script, but we're going to, I'm going to let it go for right now. We'll see what happens. And uh, setting a lot, sending a lot of positive energy Danny's way. Yeah. And Izzy's back from Texas. It's good to have her back. Carol, it was great seeing her today. Always great to train. Carol and I have been together. She said 18, year, 18 years training her. Long time, long, long time, but and good times, very good times. Yeah, I was watching. Yeah, it was probably kind of cool watching the softball. I mean, it's a packed house. It's too, they do have professional softball leagues, but it's not the same. It's like you reach your height in the in college softball, which is kind of sad. It's a great compact game. I mean, they're in they rally caps. The crowds into it. The players are into it, into it. A lot of personality. A lot of fire when they play. It was fun to watch. Very fun. And how about this? Rose Zhang became the first golfer in 72 years. Beverly Hansen back in 1951 also won her her debut on the professional tour. So you're talking 51 now, 2023. Rose Zhang, I, I, think about this. Rose Zhang, what did I see? I saw Rose Zhang. Oh, man, I know I had it here. She basically less than two weeks ago, yeah, two weeks ago, she, I'm sorry, 13 days ago, she won her second straight NCAA, NCAA title, individual title. She's 20 years old. She won over $412,000 at the Mizuho Americas Open. I, I mean, think about that. She, 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 13 days ago, she was competing in college. Now she's won over 400000 in her first tournament ever. First time in 72 years that's happened. And I was like, holy shit. That is, and I was going to leave with that, but then I saw the Oklahoma game and I go, let's get props where props is due. This is a super team. They're going for, you win three in a row. That's Dynasty. Four straight championship game, championship series appearances. It's two out of three. That is, th- that is a Dynasty. And Rose Zhang, all the hype surrounding her, you know, they, you know, they talked more wins than Tiger in college. She came in and she... <laughs> I mean, that's, that's unbelievable. The pressure. I mean, now you're playing for money. It's a little different. You know, pe- people uh, paying to, you know, for food on the, you know, for families, all that stuff. You're, 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 you're playing for your livelihood. And she comes and she kicks ass. And then UNC men's, men's baseball, they're up 2 nothing. A ball hit the pitcher of Iowa on his elbow. They bases loaded. They didn't knock in enough runs. I turned it on, it was 5-4, then it was 5-5, five, five, and I watched it through the 13th inning, and I knew they were going to lose. So they lost 6-5, they're out. But then Iowa lost to Indiana State, and Indiana State is now going to the Super Regionals. How about this? TCU, Trey Richardson, they're playing today. 
They have they win today to get the Super Regionals. Yesterday, two Grand Slams in the first two innings, three home runs, 11 RBIs, ties an NCAA tournament record, 11 RBIs for Trey Richardson. 11 RBIs. Can you believe that? 20 to 5 over Arkansas. 20 to 5 over Arkansas. Yeah. Yeah. Can you believe that? Crazy, right? I mean, 11 RBIs, two grand slams, three home runs. That is a game. And Zlatan Imbrabovic retiring 41 years old. AC Milan, he was injured a lot this season. 561 goals for a club and country. Sweden's all-time leading scorer, 62 goals in 121 matches. That's a lot of that's a lot of that's a lot of scoring. Played in MLS. You know, went to he, he had a hell of a career. 41. You're playing soccer at 41. That's pretty impressive. I know he got injured at the end of his career, but still very impressive. In my in my uh, humble opinion. And Coco Golf made her third straight French Open quarterfinals. The problem is she's going to go against Sviatek, who she lost to in the finals last year. She's 0-6 against Sviatek in her career. Well, let's see if she can. And she's playing her ass off right now. And Karim Benzema, French soccer player, 35. He won the Ballon, Ballon de, de... What's it called? The, the Ballon d'Or winner for, you know... Best player in the world last year. This year, twenty. This year, twenty three goals. He's won twenty five major trophies in fourteen years with Real Madrid. Well, you know what he's doing. He's going to go play for Al Ittihad in Saudi Arabia for three years, six hundred fourteen three six hundred forty three million dollars. That's two hundred fifteen million. Andrew Brandt said that's the NFL salary cap. That's what he's getting now. It's two years. He can option for three. Why wouldn't he? Why would he leave? That's. Why would he turn down $215 million for a season not to play? He's 35 years old. Where else is he going? They think Harry Kane has scored 32 goals this past season. Could replace him. We'll see if that happens. It was surprising they said that he was leaving the team. Really? Surprising? Surprising?